Welcome to NTP Software's ongoing series on addressing the challenges that face storage administrators today. In this module, we'll discuss the approach to controlling storage usage in your environment. If you're like most of our customers, then you're constantly investing energy into ways of saving time, money, and reducing risk in your environment. We share these same concerns and are committed to helping you achieve these goals. As you already know, the task of maintaining your storage infrastructure is extremely time consuming, especially when you consider how much of that storage is inhabited by stale or duplicate data. Gardner Group has even identified that 20 to 40 percent of data being stored on most networks is junk, no business value at all. The cost of this junk continuously multiplies in your environment through network backups, file archival, and maintenance, leaving you with the additional expense of purchasing more storage before it's actually needed. And as a result of storing stale or duplicate data, you also run the risk of costly storage outages. One of the ways to reduce risk and accomplish your goal of saving time and money is by creating and enforcing quota policy. By creating policies that manage and monitor storage usage for your entire enterprise, and by controlling exactly how your storage is distributed and consumed by user, by area, and by group, you can educate your end users about storage consumption and empower them to make informed decisions to optimize their own quotas. NTP software provides QFS quota functionality, which allows you to create and enforce rules as well as control storage usage in real time. We will now show you the solution that will immediately help your company save time, money, and reduce risk with very minimal impact on your user community. I'd like to demonstrate disk quotas as they're implemented by NTP Software QFS. Let's open up my computer and see that the user, W. Boyd in this case, has several shares available, the home directory as well as our marketing share. The home directory is where we've set up a policy that limits the user to only 250 megabytes of available space. With a disk quota in place, this user is limited to the amount of space they're allowed to copy to their home directory. In this case, there's lots of free space on the home directory, but this user has been limited to 250 megabytes. So even though they have full access to the drive, and there is plenty of extra space free, only 250 of it is available to this user. And we're enforcing that with what we call a hard quota policy. Hard quota policies are ones that actually prevent the user when they reach their limit. Soft quota policies are ones that only send the notifications when the user reaches their limit. Hard policies also send notifications as you configure them, but they also have that added benefit of stopping the user at that border. In order to demonstrate this, we already have W. Boyd's home directory very close to its limit, so when we try to copy this backup.zip file of about 11 megabytes, it will put them over and they'll be prevented by QFS's policy. We see that the operating system generated a not enough free disk space message and QFS also generated a configured messenger service message. In this case it says you have gone above your 250 megabyte quota for your home directory on the server QFS demo. An email will be sent to you shortly with additional information. That email is another alternative form of notification and in this case it tells the user that they've gone above their 100% quota or tried to go above their 100% quota. In this case they've been stopped. If this were a soft quota they would be notified that they've gone above it and that they will not be prevented. This message can be customized such as inserting the name of the folder, the size of the threshold, the quota policy size, as well as links to the help site and the end user support infrastructure which allow the user to help clean up after themselves. Setting up a quota in QFS is quite simple. If you go into the QFS management tool, you see that quotas can be set up at the organizational level, at the site level, or at the server level. At each level they can inherit down to lower levels and they have many configuration settings including the quota tab where we can set the size of the quota. We see that it's set for 250 megabytes but it could have been set as a percentage of volume size or even the percentage of another policy size. We've got the hard policy setting here. By checking this checkbox it denies right at 100 percent making the quota hard policy which also allows other options such as overdrafts. I can grant 20 percent overdraft for an unlimited time or for a limited time as I see fit. In this case, we're not going to use the overdraft feature, but we are going to keep it as a hard policy. Under thresholds, we can send notifications throughout the life cycle of the policy. Therefore, the user can be notified in this case at 50% with a pop-up in an email. The owner of the files, if different than the triggering user, will also be notified by email. Though 99% of the time, the owner and the triggering user are the same user, and they receive only one email message. Other recipients can also be notified as they are configured here. That can be the help desk, the manager, the owner, supervisor, 
whoever you see fit on a policy by policy basis. This policy is also set to send a 90% notification to just other recipients, just to let the help desk know that this user is running out of space. And at 100%, as we demonstrated, the user gets a pop-up and an email, owner gets an email, and other recipients gets an email. If we dig into this notification in particular, we see that not only can we set which messages each user community gets, we can also set the exact messaging. So for triggering user, this is the pop-up text that we saw with percent %L representing the size of the policy in megabytes and percent %S being the name of the server where the policy was enforced. These replacement text strings are very valuable because they allow you to customize the messaging to the user. We also can specify the directories where these policies apply, and our policies are multi-platform, so we support in the same policy NetApp, Windows, as well as EMC, Solera. Manage users and groups, I can specify all users or specific users from Active Directory or groups from Active Directory. Exempt users and groups, define groups that this policy does not apply to. These users would not get any notifications and would not be limited in any way by this policy, which is a very important feature for most of our customers. The other recipients tab is where we specify who receives those other recipients messages. In this case, it will be the members of the Galactic Domains Help Desk group. And we also have delegated security at each level so I can lock down policies using this interface or allow it to be open at all levels. So that's how quotas work in QFS, a very powerful tool that allows you to take the storage that users are using and control it in a finite way. In this module, you experience the power of NTP software QFS, which allows you to create and enforce rules and also control storage usage in real time, while involving your end users in the cleanup process of their own storage areas. You know how much of the data in your storage environment is stale or duplicated, and how much you're affected by the cost of that data multiplying over and over. You're aware of the risk of storage outages that you may unknowingly face by not monitoring or controlling users' consumption and how you can address and altogether avoid these issues using NTP software QFS quota functionality. Don't suffer with this problem any longer than you need to. Contact NTP software to schedule a custom demo of our solutions. Join the thousands of companies that use NTP software products to control and manage their storage environment.